Hey guys, hello, hello. Welcome to my diaspora story channel. I've received a few questions on how else somebody can come besides student visa. You remember, guys, you remember I did a student visa video before? And, uh, uh, and, and some, of, some of the people have tried to, to do the student visa and some are stuck at the fees that is involved, the financials that are involved when finding a student visa. It's a lot. We have to agree that. But um, the question I got asked is, what else, how else can we try to come to the U.S.? if it's not through a student visa. Somebody out there has tried green card lottery applications and they have not been successful yet. What I mean, I know of a guy who, who has gotten green card lottery twice. The first time he got it and he was not able to come because he did not have money. And again, he tried the following year, he got it again. He did not have money, but this time round, the wife said, you have to go. We have to sell everything and go. So yeah, the guy came. Uh, but let's say you are the you are one, one person that is out there that has tried that green card lottery. You have not been successful in that manner. The student visa fees is also uh, not an easy thing for you. If you are out there and you are in those situations and you want to try, I'm going to give you this 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 many other ways to come to the US. There's many other ways to come to the US. But today I'm just gonna highlight on just one. Uh I'm going to highlight on just one that I want this person who asked to try. That is through a, a B1 B2 visa. So B1 B2 visa is um is a visa that basically for visitors. B1 will be somebody who is coming for business, like a small business trip. And uh, B2 will be the person who wants to come here to visit or for tourism purposes. So what kuna watu wakapo inji wakuna pesa, you know, and, and uh, they want to invest in the economy in the US, they could use a B1 visa to come. And kuna watu bado wako hapo nje wakuna some money, a little bit of money to come and spend a whole day, you know. They can use a, a B2 visa. They, they just go to, you know, you go to the website and apply for a B2 visa. Uh, you know, I gotta say, B1, B2 visa is one of the easiest visa to apply. The process is not hard. The requirements are not hard. Uh, you are only required to prove that you will come back to your country. You know, you, you, you are needed to prove that when they give you the visa, you have something that will make you come back to your country. For example, those things will be like, I have children who are young enough and need me. They need me or they depend on me to, to be there for them those are going to make me come back or i have like valuable properties that i cannot let go uh by just going to the u.s and staying so like you have to prove certain type of you know things that you have that will make you come back they also will need a a, a statement a bank statement to show that you are going to be able to to fund your trip if you are going to visit, they are expecting that you are, you are able to pay for whatever you need to pay in the U.S. You are also going to need a reason to visit, you know. Like, let's say you have a friend or a relative. Um, did they invite you? Are you? You don't need an invitation per se, but when they say you need a reason to visit, you can, your reason could be like a wedding. You are going for a wedding. You are going for a graduation. You are going for a, a baby dedication or baby bath, you know. Or you are just going to tour the, the U.S., you know. 
if your reason is you are just going to tour the, the US, you are also ready to provide that I have enough money that I want to go and spend in the US, you know. So um, how long is the visa? The visa in general is going to be a five year long visa. But this B1, B2 visa has a limit on how long you could stay even though you have the five year visa. You, you can only stay for 180 days. That's about six months. So you, you, you can come as often as you can, like you, but you can't stay for more than 180 days at one go. If you come now, you stay for 179 days, you have to leave the country and come again with maybe a different different reason but you know long long time ago you needed to go back to the embassy to go get another visa but now with the five-year visa once you you come to the u.s the first time and spent your 180 days in the u.s you go back you can come back again until your five-year visa expires when it expires that's when you go to the embassy to renew but so long as it has not expired, you can, you don't have to go to the embassy again. You can come any other time that you want by just buying your, your you know, your flight ticket and, and coming. I hope some of the people out there can try. When, when applying for this B1, B2 visa, it's, it's not a hard process. And the money involved is not a lot. I think the application takes up about $200. Or... 20,000 20, Kenyan shillings if you are in Kenya. So um, if you already have your passport, it's not an expensive visa, but it's a hard to get visa. So if you are willing to like lose, let's say you are willing to lose about 20,000, you can try this visa, you know. Am I allowed to work when I come with a B1, B2 visa? No, you're not allowed to work. <laughs> but um, are there people who have come to the U.S. with a B1, B2 visa and have been here for the last 10 years? Yes. So um, I would say don't go ahead of where you are. Just get the visa and then move to the next step. Don't try to get ahead. Because getting ahead might just discourage you. Okay, guys. Thank you. I hope to see you in my next one again. Bye.